Let's take the first one. Justice Wonder. At what at, at what point should you take the leap to to create an LLC? All right, this is a really good question. I get this is probably one of the most common questions is about the legalities of thing, the accounting. Should it be an S corp, C corp, sole proprietor partnership, general partnership? Um, you know, uh, one of those nonprofit profit companies. Um, so, at one point, should you create the LLC? Justice, I would say you create the LLC as soon as you potentially can. Uh, when you know you're going to start investing money into it, all right. So when you know that you're going you're, that you're going to pay for a trademark, when you know that you're going to buy some products, when you know that you're actually going to start doing business, right. And the reason for that is because you want to structure your company earlier than later, because then you can have tax write-offs on stuff like the development, the education, your guys' participation if, into the FTGU app. You pay it for a year. That's all tax deductible. So whatever you made that year, you can write it off as continual education, right? And of course, talk to your accountant, the CPA. This isn't this isn't like financial advice, and I'm not a lawyer or an accountant, so I do have to make that disclaimer. But there's a lot of things that you guys can write off when you start your LLC, from the trade shows you attend to the samples that you buy, from the education that you take, from the programs that you join, from the memberships that you start. Anything related to actively building your business, you have an opportunity to write off. So if you have a full-time job and you start a business, there's ways to offset some, 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 some of your tax liabilities there. But then it also helps you secure your wholesale accounts. It allows you to uh, to really represent your business online and start your Dun & Bradstreet um, accounts and start your business credit line. So there, we're actually going to bring somebody on next week that's going to be talking about building your credit and your brand profile. This guy has built multi-millions of dollars in real estate through his, through his manufacturing company, through apparel. So we're going to be bringing him on. Um, so a lot more of those questions can be answered next week. But for now, at what point should you take the leap and start an LLC as soon as you're going to invest into it? Okay, you can always start as a sole proprietor when you're testing things. So if you're if you're like, you know what, I'm going to do print on demand. I'm going to do some drop shipping for now. Just want to see if I can make some money. Sole proprietor, register with the state, open up a separate bank account, and you could just kind of run that in the background. But when you're ready and you're serious to do it, that's when you do the LLC um, sooner than later. Okay, so. It's uh, like getting married after you know the relationship is actually working. Yeah, yeah, right. So it's like you don't want to jump into it. I mean, I guess some people just well, maybe do I don't want to oversimplify yeah. marriage. <laughs> <laughs> some <laughs> some people just pull the trigger, get married, and they're married for life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's really when 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 you feel like you're ready for it, but more than anything, when you're ready to start investing into it, um, that's like the biggest, um, like that's like the main thing that you should look into is like if you know that you're gonna invest into it, do it. 